Story this half hour, the construction on 35W in Minneapolis. It's hard to believe, but we've been driving through it for four years. And finally, we are close to the finish line. September 10th is when crews are supposed to wrap it all up. But in just a couple of weeks, driving on it is going to feel like it's a lot closer to the new normal. But, uh... Yes, we are. We could see the end. The end of the road will still have traffic, but the four year long speed bump of construction will be gone. There's a lot of work uh, that's been completed uh, 11 bridges. Uh, we've got a couple more to finish up, but we've got most of them. Some building some new ramps, brand new lanes between 43rd and 94. New noise walls, irritating walls. The reconstruction replaces an interchange in the heart of Minneapolis that was stuck in the 1960s. A time when cars, commuting, and commerce could never envision the transportation demands of the 21st century. But construction is not yet done. There's still one more weekend closure of 35W to I-94 to the Crosstown, and it's set for the weekend starting Friday night, July 9th. Crews will redirect northbound traffic onto brand new lanes starting Monday morning the 12th. There'll be some lanes on the inside that will be closed still, but uh, a lot of the new pavement will be available, yep. While driving through this corridor will feel substantially different by mid-July, one of the last remaining bottlenecks is going to take a while, and that's here at Lake Street. Both the on-ramps and off-ramps to Lake have been closed now since, well, a couple of years. They'll be among the last now to reopen in September. But when they do, they'll accommodate traffic for a brand new transit hub at Lake in 35W. It's always been a major focus of the reconstruction project. And all of it now just two and a half months away from completion. I think when we're done here in a couple of months, uh, folks are, are going to see that it's well worth it. Yeah, the entire project cost $239 million. Dave Aiken says that the traffic drop off we saw last summer during the pandemic actually allowed crews to close some lanes during the day that they normally wouldn't have been able to do, but it didn't speed up the project all that much. Well,